for the next first try. A couple weeks ago, I wanted to uh, go there to Standing Rock with my sister. I'm not all that healthy. I'm diabetic, need a lot of pills. My cousins from the Yakima tribe, Nespers, were there. I got as far as Missoula. The storm hit and the temperature started dropping there and me and my sister did not continue the journey. Two or three weeks ago, I was asked to go to Santa Cruz to deal with their what was happening on the corner of the street. When I went there from my friend Paul Rubio, he asked me to sing a song there. There was only me, him, and another lady that were Indian. The rest were all whites. It is part of a prophecy that our people have of what is coming to us and to this world. And so when I was there in Santa Cruz, also at Sweat with other friends here in the Bay Area, I'm looked upon as a spiritual leader. I really don't think of my way, myself that way. But hearing and seeing for myself here what is taking place there, I wanted to go there and conduct a ceremony like my relatives did there as well. Because even with my own tribe, the next first tribe, I always wonder where are they with all this? Even my own tribe had to fight for our own rights because from Missoula, Montana to Pasco, there's a, there's a nuclear dump. We wanted those huge trucks to stop going to our reservation along the river because those things could fall into the river and ruin it. And the clear water and the snake in the river from the river. We won. I believe that there are other tribes who are doing the same thing in their own country. Whatever our people are facing. A little while ago, I saw the lady sitting next to me. I told her information that she had no idea of that our people have faced since we became reservations. And it, it, it surprised her. He doesn't know about certain laws that are against our people. It's still in place. It's still there. We can't even buy our own land back. We cannot buy land outside the reservation. And it hurts that our people must suffer in this way that we have many rights that are denied us. And the only thing we can stand upon is the trees. That's the only thing. I tried to tell a friend, you look at the US Constitution and the Bill of Rights, do you know it says except in these, in those documents? Do you know that to become a proper US citizen, you must give up your right as an enrolled native of your own land, of your own tribe. People don't know these things. And I pray a lot for many people back home who suffer differently than I suffer here in the sea. And it hurts and pains me because of PTSD. You don't know what the poverty is back home and the things they must deal with. Even my own sister went to the reservation last year and this year. She didn't like cops following her all the way to town. 
65 miles away. We're the only dark-skinned people with black hair on the reservation. And the, pe the police follow us all over. On my reservation, it's 14, 20 miles to jail. Sometimes our people don't make it there. They're beat up, raped. We think the judges should ask how come an Indian woman is all bruised up. Her hair is a mess, and her clothes are in rags because she was raped along the way. Same with the male. This is what we face back home. So I thought I would just say these few words because our people need one another. Because I don't like the word protesters either. If it weren't for the videos I've seen on YouTube, it's probably from him and others. You would not know what the truth is that is happening there. When I saw a video on YouTube of them shooting the water at women and children, I cried. What are they doing? It's 20 degrees. We're going to be freezing. hurts. At home, the police used to line up. Same with our people. Like gun smoke or something like that. It wasn't until the Attorney General was echo up a lot of this in the state of Wyoming. But it's still it's sort of there. I tell my relatives here, you go back to Canyon, Idaho, you will not see an Indian working in any store here. The BIA, Indian Health Service of the tribe, those are the only three groups you can work for as an Indian on the reservation. My reservation. You don't see Indians working anywhere else. In a grocery store or a bank hardware store, whatever. But it's beginning to happen. In order for me to know and support the people there and all who have went, including my own relatives, my nephew is a member of the Yakima Tribal Council. He went there. He got hurt there. And he called the rest of the tribal council to send something to the people there. And I think he was there in August. I met several others when I went back home uh, three, four weeks ago to Apollo there. I met others who went to the standing room. What they told me was the what was amazing to them. How our people are together. And in prayer, he said, I never thought that we, our people, who are very indigenous in their ways, works. Even my own uncle, who went to Vietnam, 25 Indians got together in a circle. And you know how Indians are when one goes to war. They gave them an, an eagle feather or something important in their tribal ways. And they got in a circle and began to pray and sing songs. The white people got angry. Very mad. You don't have a Bible. You're not praying to Jesus. Who do you think you are? And the ones that protected them, my uncle said, were the blacks. They have greater faith than you do. And they're not praying just for themselves. They're praying for all of us. You've got to know that. Where are you?